how's it going? It's Jiva and welcome back for yet another a little reading vlog. So it's actually Saturday today and I just decided to change my reading plans. I was gonna read some more of the middle grade books on my TBR but I actually started craving another read. So if you saw my November TBR video, I actually mentioned in that one that I really wanted to participate in the paranormal romance readathon which was actually taking place on in the first week of November. But unfortunately during that week I had a huge migraine so I completely missed like the entire readathon and I'm still so sad about it, especially since the book that I was gonna pick up was actually White Hot Kiss by Jennifer L. Armantrout. She is actually one of my most like one of my favorite authors basically. I have read her Lux series and one of her new adult books and I have just loved them all so much. Like I, I love Jennifer Armantrout and her writing and her characters, her stories are, are always so much fun and so funny. Oh my god. I, lo I love reading her books. And so since I haven't really read anything of her in years, I decided to finally give it a go. I'm kind of gonna challenge myself for the next kind of 40, not 48 hours, for the next 24 hours. So it's gonna be like a pretty chill 24 hour kind of readathon. And I'm gonna challenge myself to how many Jennifer L. Armitroy books I can actually read during the next day. <laughs> so yeah, I've actually started reading My Hot Kiss already. I'm 100 pages into it. I'm loving it so much. Oh my god, this is just... Oh, I almost spilled my coffee. This is bringing back so many good memories. I still remember like the Lux series was one of my favorites for so many years. And the reason behind it was that the characters are just so much fun. Like it's so easy to get lost in her, in Jennifer L. Armitrod's stories and get sucked into the world and into the banter between the characters. And this is just the best thing ever. Oh my God, it's the best feeling getting lost in a story like that. So loving White Hot Kiss so far. And this is actually a story about a girl who is half demon, half um, something called a warden. And a warden is actually a gargoyle who can shift into a human form. So yeah, the main character in here called Layla is actually half and half. And she's always been kind of ostracized because of this. She doesn't really fit in with the humans because of her like demon urges. But she also doesn't really fit in with the wardens because she can shift into like her gargoyle form and she has the demon urges and she doesn't really want to fit in with the demons because why would you want to fit in with the demons you know <laughs> so yeah she's kind of feeling pretty ostracized by everybody but she has her friends you know she's living with the wardens they've kind of adopted her and like they like have jobs for her still you know so yeah but she goes to high school as well so she gets into all kinds of trouble at her high school as well it's proving to be quite challenging for her to like juggle her two lives pretending to be like a normal human being in school but then also like her uh, you know, the the other side to her life, like the warden and the demon side. So yeah, it's actually so much fun. And the wardens are actually demon hunters. So basically she's like the child of the two opposites of like the two uh, species of uh, these creatures that are at war with each other and that hate each other deeply. So there's quite many challenges that the main character faces in here. And then suddenly a new challenge appears named Roth. And he's actually like a high level demon and he is... <laughs> I love Roth so much already. We barely met him, like we met him like maybe 50 pages in or something. And I have to admit, it was embarrassing how little it took for me to fall in love with Rog. I just honestly have no words. He's so dreamy. Like every single time Jennifer L. Armitrout writes a love interest, he's just the dreamiest being out there. Kind of sassy, kind of on the mean side, but the smarkiness is exactly part of the charm. The sarcasm is, of course, the main thing that is so attractive about them. <laughs> so yet, ah, she's so good at writing romance, honestly, at writing chemistry between her characters. I am just, I am like a mess of excitement right now. I can't even talk properly. I don't know what to say without fangirling. So yeah, I'm loving this one so far. So this one I'm definitely finishing. I don't know when because it's taking me a while to actually read those first hundred pages, but it's getting pretty fast paced. It's getting interesting. It's developing quite nicely. I'm not quite at the part yet to know what exactly the main plot line is going to be, but it's definitely super interesting. So I'm gonna be reading this one. As for the rest of my TBR for the day, I actually have a couple of options. I checked on Scribd. I don't have the phone here with me right now, but I checked on Scribd what else she has available on there and I know she has a couple of ebooks available but I forget the titles of the books in that series it's not in the same series as White Hot Kiss um so once I finish this one unfortunately I can jump straight into the sequel which I would have loved but unfortunately it's not available 
but she has another couple of books. I know in one of her other series, the first and the second book are available. So those are options. But I also actually purchased From Blood and Ash by Jennifer Almond on Kindle. So that is another option that I could be reading. But then another option, I'm just kind of trying like to fit my mood, whatever I'm in the mood for, I'm gonna pick up. I could reread the Lux series, which I actually have here somewhere. Let me just look where I have the books. I don't see them for some reason. Where? Oh, they're up there. Hold on. Okay, I have the books right here. So these are the five books in that series that I could potentially also read. I mean, if I would reread this series, I would probably read the first one. And then I remember loving the third book in this series. The third one was so good. Oh my god, the third one is definitely my favorite. I don't exactly remember what happens in this series, so it would be nice to kind of go and refresh my memory. But yeah, I don't know. I definitely want to read the first one because I remember this one had the most fun kind of banter between Damon and Katie. So that one will be a good pick, but... Yeah, like I said, I'm trying to keep my options open. Whatever I am in the mood for, I'm gonna pick up. So yeah, but those are a couple of books that are potentially gonna make it on my TBR for the weekend. But for now, I'm just excited to actually go and continue reading White Hot Kid because I just cannot get enough of Ross and Layla and their banter and their relationship. I have feelings about this book. I have a lot of feelings. <laughs> o'clock in the evening and i've just realized that i had completely forgotten to update this video <laughs> i just feel like i completely fell into the story and kind of forgot about the vlogging part but yeah let me show you how much i have read so this is the chunk that i have read so far i'm currently on page 266 and i'm about to start chapter 19 and it's just still so good oh my god the story is still going strong it's just getting better and better <laughs> And this is actually a pretty intense read, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like the relationship between Layla and Roth is just so damn intense. Oh my god, it's it's very romantic, like this book is very romantic, it's definitely a paranormal romance through and through because I feel like the plot part of the story is definitely taking a backseat to the romance, like not a page goes by, the, like the characters aren't flirting with each other and the flirting is just so good, it's just oh, it's so good it's so delicious to read so i'm so so excited to continue reading but i have realized that like jennifer all oh, orange short books are definitely very addictive they are very fun to read but they aren't like the best books they aren't like the best written books they aren't like pieces of art or whatever they are filled with cliches but i feel like what what she does best is actually using her like strong points to the writing which is definitely like in creating and fleshing out the characters and making them feel real i feel like she's very good at that and she definitely uses that her advantage and she's so good at romance writing <laughs> i'm sorry i keep talking about romance but honestly there's just like there's plenty going on beside the romance but the romance is definitely like the biggest part of the story 
so it's definitely so good and i like the world that she's created like the mythology that she's using that she's using in here about the demons especially i feel like the demon world is quite interestingly portrayed in here and like all the demons like they're very romanticized i feel like they aren't exactly portrayed as bad guys i mean since the demon is actually like the main love interest it would be hard to kind of like demonize them <laughs> okay <laughs> um but yeah i don't know it's just very interesting also about like the wardens and the gargoyles i do wish we get more of like an explanation about them but i feel like that's part of the plot why it's being kept secret is actually going to be re revealed as like the main plot line develops more so yeah i'm excited about that because i really want to know more about them especially how they came to be like these wardens they're basically like the angelic side to this like war going on so obviously we have demons and we have angels going against each other and the way that angels are fighting the demons is through the wardens and these gargoyles so it's just really i'm interested enough in the world as well i really hope we get to learn more about it but yeah okay what else is there i think reading a fast-paced book like this is actually quite hard to like really focus on the details it's just like about taking the story in not really thinking about them it's kind of the fun part as well because you just completely consumed by the story it's definitely so easy to like fall into it i think this is the most escapist book that i have ever read because it definitely like takes me completely out of the real world out of the current situation and the problems going on in the world this is the best distraction ever so i'm just really happy to have this weekend reading this book and just forget about everything bad in the world and have fun <laughs> so yeah it's just been really good but yeah i'm actually gonna get back to reading it's already like past 10 o'clock um so yeah it's almost half 11 but i'm not really feeling sleepy so i have a feeling i could go for a while longer i don't know how far i'm gonna get but i definitely want to finish the story and i think it is doable because it's quite an exciting one so it's like not easy to fall asleep while reading this book so yeah i have a feeling i could finish this one. i don't want to jinx it because there still is 140 pages left and it is quite slow paced like it's exciting but like even if you're reading and you're completely consumed by the story the pages don't really like fly by that fast so it's going slower than like i have been thinking all day like i felt like i was flying through a story but the pages kind of didn't really move that much um but yeah i don't know I'm gonna try i'm gonna see how far i get but i am planning to wake up real early in the morning i'm not gonna stay up all night because i still get flashbacks of the migraine and one of the biggest triggers for my migraines is when i mess with my sleep schedule so i don't think i'm gonna do that for a while now because i really don't want to repeat all that week but yeah i'm gonna try to stay up as late as i can and then get up as early as i possibly can to finish at least this one start another one I have realized that if I had finished this book, I would have read like 400 pages in one day. Which is a win in my book, honestly. I know I always emphasize how slow a reader I am, and then when I do something like this, I realize that it is possible to actually read so much if you just put your mind to it. If you just do it, if you just commit to it. So yeah, it's kind of, you know, opens up all kinds of possibilities and all kinds of thoughts. So yeah, okay. I don't know why I'm rambling. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna let you know how much I read. And uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's, let's read more. <laughs> So it's actually really cold on here so i'm not gonna take off the bathrobe but i don't realize it's like a very quarantine look that i'm rocking right now so please excuse that but it's actually the next day today and i have finished white hot kiss by mrs armand trout and i just have one very simple question to ask her and that is what the heck is up with that rude ending <laughs> how 
how did you think it was okay to write an ending like that and leave her readers hanging for the second book oh my god i could never i could honestly never and that's the reason why i actually got even more determined to find access to the second book in this series oh my god i was even ready to like buy the ebook on kindle because the heck with it i needed a sequel after finishing this one it was insane like the second half of this book or even like the last hundred pages got so intense and so fast-paced and so much was happening i mean this series is turning into like a very classic like 2012 2013 romance with like a love triangle but yeah so that ending actually got me to taking another look at script and what was available and i don't really know where i was looking last night i think i was focusing too much on what ebooks were available without checking all the audiobook selection but stone cold touch which is actually the second book in this dark element series is available as an audiobook so of course i had to jump straight into it but the thing about this second book is that it is so infuriating oh my god going from the first to the second book i just kind of feel as like all the characters do like a complete 180 especially the main trio who are kind of involved in this love triangle oh my god they are acting in such a frustrating way oh my god going back to this being like a classic 2012 2013 love triangle romance is that like the main love interest does a complete 180 he's done that classic like oh i'm a bad boy so i'm not good enough for you i'm gonna push you away for your own good and strain the arms of like the other guy but i'm not actually gonna disappear i'm gonna keep causing trouble for you and your new boo because i do still love you but i'm not good enough for you <laughs> it's you know what I'm talking about like I'm pretty sure this is familiar to anybody who read books that were published in 2012 2013 because that was such a huge theme back then honestly I did not look forward to this repeat of like the twilight experience and that love triangle because it's so frustrating I can't I can't I honestly can't with these characters it's so rude <laughs> it is pretty entertaining still kind of plot wise I want to say the second book is turning out better than the first one because there is this almost like a mystery aspect to it and this kind of thrilling aspect because it kind of feels like we have some invisible characters or at least that's my theory so far it kind of feels like there's this invisible force kind of wreaking havoc around uh, Layla's life so I'm interested to see how that's gonna turn out but yeah it's everything is developing like fine <laughs> besides the romance part which is turning very frustrating like everything else is pretty entertaining and I feel like the world is expanding the mythological creatures that Jennifer L. Armitrout involved in the series is definitely expanding. We now have like witches and I'm pretty sure we met somebody else but I can't remember right now so yeah. And actually now that I'm listening to the second book so Stone Cold Touch in the Dark Elements series I'm actually quite excited about the novella that is like in this series. There is a novella between another couple of characters called Daz and Yasmin. Jasmine. And having met Des now, I'm actually pretty intrigued in his character because he seems really cool. Like, he actually is one of the best characters in the series so far. We don't know much about him yet. We basically just met him, but there were some scenes where he was just, like, really nice. So, yeah. And this just reminds me of another character in here. It's a snake called Bobby. <laughs> oh my god, what a queen. Oh my god, she is ruling this entire series she's definitely the best out of them all she's the only one who like stayed true to herself she just eats everybody who is a threat to anybody uh, that she cares about <laughs> like she she's the one constant through this series so <laughs> i just i love her so much oh my god and a snake called bambi is just you know it's gonna be good when, <laughs> when you have a disney name on like a deadly demon snake so <laughs> yeah it's all good but for right now i actually do plan on taking a break from soul cold touch because my eyes can handle the amount of rolling they have to do <laughs> so i'm actually gonna switch to obsidian so the first book in the luck series i don't think i'm gonna read that one entirely i just thinking i'm thinking of flipping through it and kind of reading through my favorite scenes and some of the interactions between katie and damon i remember the first book kind of being the most entertaining like their banter being really funny and so I kind of want to go back to that and kind of read it through again, see like how their uh, love hates the love relationship develops because I remember that being like really funny and a lot of fun to read the first time around. So I kind of want to go back to that. <laughs> so yeah, and then after that, I'm going to continue reading Stone Cold Touch or listening to Stone Cold Touch so I can finish that one as well. So, oh my god, yeah. Um, those are my plans for right now. I did want to kind of check in with like the challenge and how it's going, I guess. 
I mean, having read this book, which is actually like a 400 page book, I think I'm doing pretty well. And if I am like halfway through the second book, and if the second book is kind of the length of this one, I would have read 600 pages already. So I think that's pretty good. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty proud of myself for how much I have read over this weekend. And definitely having so much fun with these books and just being with the characters, hanging out with the characters that Jennifer Alamachot has created so it's been it's been fun you know I'm having a lot of fun definitely let me know if you have read uh this series in particular or any others by the author that you enjoyed like I honestly I want to check out all of her series that she has out so far and um I kind of want to know which which one you would recommend to like prioritize which one to jump into first Okay, well, so it's actually getting pretty late in the day, so I'm gonna have to wrap up this challenge soon. I actually already surpassed the like set time that I uh, put for myself, so I've gone over those 24 hours, I think like maybe 5 hours or so, I'm over that time. But still, you know, I'm pretty happy about it because I did manage to wrap up the reads that I started. I mean, besides Obsidian, which I only started skim reading, I think I got like over the first four chapters or something so yeah i actually found a bookmark in here totally randomly which reminded me that a couple of months ago i actually started rereading this series i had planned to reread the entire thing i don't really remember why i stopped maybe because like i didn't have the time for it or whatever it was but it made me super excited to maybe reread it in like near future maybe december possibly december maybe um the beginning of january i have something in my eye excuse me um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited to maybe reread the entire series because this just reminded me of the good old times. Oh my god. Like, no matter how much chemistry and how good, like, that chemistry is between the characters in the Dark Element series, it has nothing on, like, Katie and Damon in here and the rest of the characters as well. Just their banter is something completely off the charts. They are so perfect for each other, like, even from the beginning. Like, Damon is a complete jackass. He's such an asshole in this first book. And honestly, if he existed in real life, I would, like, he, oh my god, he would get punched a lot. <laughs> but for some reason, in book form, it just works out well for Damon. I kind of feel like all the insults that Kenny and Damon are throwing at each other, it feels more like them, like, pulling each other's pigtails or something, like they're in kindergarten. So yeah, it almost feels more like flirting than them really like hating or insulting each other. And like each time that Damon insults Katie, she definitely is right there waiting with a comeback and they are some of the most amazing comebacks. Like that's another reason why I admire the author, you know, Jennifer Alamachua so much is because she is one of the funniest writers that I have read from. Like her humor in her books is just hilarious. There's definitely plenty of like laugh out loud moments, not only in this book series, but also in... Um, the dark element series there have been some moments that had me laughing out loud it's definitely hilarious and i love them so much for that so yeah um i'm excited for when i finally decide to actually reread the deluxe series i really hope i get around to all five books but if not at least like the first three because the first three are kind of like my favorites i guess so yeah i did also actually finish listening to stone cold touch and yeah the book finished just the same way that it started like it wasn't as frustrating anymore because as the story progressed and you know we got to learn more about why the characters made the decisions that they made and why everything went down the way that it did and there were, there were quite a lot of surprises as well that were like the second half of the book you know there were some very surprising revelations even in the beginning actually there was quite some surprising like relationships revealed which i thought were very intriguing and i really hope we get to explore them more in the next book that I think will be pretty interesting and pretty angsty, so yeah, I'm quite excited about that, but yeah, otherwise, 
like I don't really know what to say because I don't want to reveal too much I feel like I've already revealed way too much about how the story goes especially about the second book and the whole love triangle thing so sorry that was a spoiler but yeah I don't know I enjoyed it I think I'd give it three stars four stars I'm kind of between three and a half okay let, let's say I'm gonna give it three and a half stars to Stone Cold Dutch when it comes to um a white hot kiss this one I definitely give five stars this one was really good but the second book just frustrated me with the characters so that's kind of why I think I'm gonna give it 3.5 <laughs> so yeah but otherwise everything was fine like well, the plot was really interesting it was much more interesting than in the first book which I think I mentioned already so uh, not to repeat myself but yeah so yeah I'm gonna jump into the third book probably I'm gonna start listening to the audiobook straight away because I cannot wait any longer to actually like finish the series see how everything is gonna go down how everything is gonna wrap up so yeah i'm gonna go and do that but for this vlog i'm gonna have to wrap it up here so yeah thank you so much for watching this video definitely let me know if you have read any jennifer L. armature books and what some of your favorites are from her i'm gonna wrap it up thanks for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it and that um i'm gonna talk to you guys down in the comments <laughs> so yeah i hope you're having a good day or night and i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye